Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about how I train my horses to do the Spanish walk using positive reinforcement and a pedestal. If you want to try this yourself, you'll need a halter and a lead rope, a whip or a stick, horse training treats, and a pedestal. I currently use a purpose-made pedestal that I bought on Etsy, but you can also use a different sturdy item. I've seen people use old tractor tires, mounting blocks, and when I first started training with the pedestal, I used a stump. Prior to this video, Cricket had never done the Spanish walk before, so I will use him to demonstrate how I would teach a horse in the beginnings of the Spanish walk, which I never actually captured with Tomcat. Tomcat learned to Spanish walk about two years ago. I will insert some clips of him at the end where he was refining his Spanish walk to show how the walk progresses with more time and practice. With Tomcat's Spanish walk, I hadn't originally set out to teach him that. I actually wanted to teach him to step up on the pedestal while I was riding him so he could do it as part of a written demonstration in the equine affair. However, if you want to teach the Spanish walk and you don't care so much about standing on the pedestal, or if you have a horse like Cricket who really doesn't seem to like standing on the pedestal, you can still use it to teach the Spanish walk. Step one is introducing your horse to whatever object you will be using as your pedestal. Depending on how anxious your horse gets around new objects, this may take anywhere from a couple of minutes to several days. Allow your horse to investigate the pedestal and reward generously when they show interest. If your horse is anxious, start small and move slowly to avoid introducing anxiety. Do your best to make the pedestal and just being around it a positive experience. When your horse is comfortable with that, you can begin picking up a front foot and placing it on the pedestal. Have them stand back from the base of the pedestal so that when you extend their leg, it lands in the center. When the foot touches the pedestal, click and reward the horse. Be sure to alternate and place both feet on the pedestal. I will usually do somewhere between five and 10 repetitions in a row before swapping to the other side, just to let them understand the pattern and build confidence. For your own safety, remember to stand at your horse's shoulder and be sure to stand clear of the leg so that they don't hit you if they begin to start attempting to put their foot on the pedestal by themselves. Once the horse is comfortable with the idea of having their feet on the pedestal, start adding your cue. I personally say step up and touch in their kind of armpit area before picking up their leg and placing it on the pedestal. Eventually, they will start to lift their foot at the cue and with more practice, they will start to reach for the pedestal on their own. At this point, I start using my whip to tap rather than my hands. This is partly because it will keep my face out of the way of their legs as they're reaching for the pedestal, but also it makes it so that I can tap both the left and the right leg while standing next to the horse on one side. Early on, you should reward any attempt to reach for the pedestal, even if they lift the opposite leg than the one you tapped. As they start to understand tapping means lift the leg, I start to become a little pickier and I only click and reward when they lift the leg that I tapped. When your horse is consistently lifting their foot to touch the pedestal at your cue, you can move back from the pedestal and continue to cue them to step up. If the horse makes an attempt to lift their leg and reach, click and reward. If the horse doesn't understand, move back to the pedestal and continue having them reach out and touch the pedestal before you move forward to this step again. When your horse is confirmed at stepping up with each foot when you tap the corresponding elbow, you can start putting the pieces together. Alternate between having the horse step up and then take a step forward, then click and reward. Then with the other leg, step up and take a step forward, then click and reward. Start small. At first, you should click and reward for a single step up and a single step forward. As the horse gets better and more comfortable with what you're asking them, you can ask them to step with both legs, for example, left foot forward, right foot forward, before you click and reward. The walk may look choppy, but reward any effort on the part of your horse because they need to understand the muscle memory before they can start putting it together into a fluid walk. Continue slowly building the number of steps your horse can take before you click and reward. Be sure to make a big fuss, praise, and reward extra when they take a few smooth steps in a row. As you continue to practice and refine the trick, it should turn into a more fluid Spanish walk. A couple of tips. Remember, every horse learns at their own pace. Tomcat learned the Spanish walk in a couple of sessions. Cricket took a lot of time to become even comfortable with the pedestal. Be patient with your horse, even if he's a little slow on the uptake. 
Be sure to reward the try from your horse. Even if it's not perfect, be sure to appraise any attempt in progress from your horse to perform whatever step you're on. And finally, keep your training sessions short to keep your horse engaged and to help them avoid frustration or burnout. Remember, it's supposed to be fun for you and your horse. Thanks so much for watching, and if you have any questions, leave a comment below.